Hello guys, in this video we will discuss about NCBI that is National Center for Biotechnology Information. So in order to access the NCBI, so you have to open your browser and just search in the Google about NCBI and the first site that is ncbi.nlm.nih.gov. So this is the site which you have to remember for accessing the NCBI. So just click here after clicking so this is the home page of NCBI so in this home page you can see many options so I'm going to discuss some important options like in the left panel these are the resources like data and software DNA RNA domains and structures genes expression and so on so all these are the resources or you can say the databases which you can access through this website and these are other resources like PubMed, Bookshelf. So these are you can say here these are the links of other important resources like PubMed means publication in medicine, Bookshelf where you can get the various books, the BLAST which is used for the homology searching and this is the nucleotide database, genome database and others. And here this submit button. So it is here if you want to submit your sequence to the NCBI so you have to click here and after that after following a complete process you can submit your sequence to NCBI and these other options like downloads you can download some important data from the NCBI to your computer you can also use the artificial intelligence or API based apps of the you can uh, for this NCBI to build the applications now the main option is this here this search box which is also the entrance here you can search different genes or organisms or different molecules among the different databases so for searching you have to click here here you can see the name of many databases like assembly bio collection bio project etc but i'm going to tell you just few important ones in this video so like first of all is the nucleotide this is the nucleotide database just click here and if you uh, write the name of any gene so it will give you the complete information of that gene like for example I am clicking here hexo I am writing here hexo kinase which is enzyme and just clicking search so now it will show you the hexo kinase gene this is these are the organism in which hexo kinase gene is present so you can choose either of them to get the information as I click here so now the information is just in front of us and the database is GenBank. So this is the information retrieved from the GenBank database and this is the complete information about this hexokinase present in the Drosophila melanogaster. So by this you can get the information from an NCBI website. Now again back to the home page. So other option which is important is that is genome. If you click or you can see if you select the genome and write the name of organism so that NCBI will now give you the complete genome of that organism so it means in order to search for the genome you have to select genome here another important option is that that is proteins means if you want to get the data of proteins or sequence of proteins of a specified organism or a gene so you just select protein here and now write your query in the box and click search so as you click search result will be just displayed in front of you as I show you for the nucleotide data base the next important one in this is gene here if you select the gene and search so now the complete gene information will be just in front of you so these are the some important option others are also there which you can choose and use for the purpose of your research but I just show you the important one like protein genome nucleotide and this gene one so just select it and write the query and you get your result so this is all about the home page of NCBI and if I told you that NCBI it is a website which is developed by that is NLM means National Library of Medicine and IH means National Institute of Health and it is developed by, developed in USA and its headquarter is in 
that is Bethesda, USA. So means this site is governed from the USA and this NCBI was developed in 1988 and now it is a you can say one of the biggest site in the world for the bioinformatic work the loads of resources are available here so I just give you uh, you can say idea of some important one so I hope now it is clear that how you can access the NCBI and the basic option means how you can search for the sequences in the NCBI by using this search box. So that's all for today guys. Uh, see you in the next video. Thank you very much.